Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the Oral B Pulsonic from Braun. You see the, the head goes, attaches here. And recently my Oral B Pulsonic actually stopped working, so I decided to take it apart to see what's wrong with it. First, actually, I thought, you know, maybe the battery is not holding a charge anymore. So I thought, you know, maybe I could just change the battery and see what happens. But to my surprise, it's actually the opposite. So first thing you do is you unscrew the bottom cap. There, there's a Phillips head screw. You unscrew that and then you have a, basically a piece of plastic with like a, like a basically like, like a solenoid. And that basically recharges the toothbrush. And inside, when you pull it out, you get this thing here. Now the top is a magnet. And then you have a IC board. And here's where the battery goes. It looks like a standard triple A battery. So this over here will be the power. And these are your lights around along here. So basically, the battery goes here, which is this made in China orange battery. Then you have this, which goes on top, and it's supposed to spin, and that creates the rumbling effect or pseudo vibrations. So to my surprise, actually, when I took this out, this is supposed to be a 1.2 volt battery with 700 milliamp hours, and the battery is supposed to last three to five years. My toothbrush gave out on me quite literally just a tad before then. So to my surprise, actually, when I use a voltimeter on it, I was expecting like no charge or whatever, but I felt strange because when I was using it, the vibrations felt pretty strong like if it was was fully charged and in the manual itself it says you know overcharging this toothbrush was impossible so to my surprise when I actually hit it with the the, the voltmeter it read 2 a 1.2 volt battery was somehow overcharged to 2 volts and that's what was causing this to malfunction and not work now if you actually put a AAA battery in it will work, it will vibrate, but this uh, the it was just too much voltage on this for it to handle, which is extremely, extremely weird to me. So technically if you want to fix this, you could just you know plug this into an LED, just drain the drain drain the drain the charge out of it until it's like about 1.2, and then you can start using it again. But every time you overcharge it, like if you leave the toothbrush there overnight, you might run into the same problem again and you have to keep doing it over and over again, which is quite annoying. So that means somewhere on this board, the thing that's supposed to control it, control that it will stop charging it when once it's full, is somehow not working. And once you open this up, it's not quite as waterproof anymore and the battery is kind of soldered on. So you have to actually, if you do use a AAA battery, you have to you know desolder it and then solder it back on every time, or put a rechargeable AAA battery in. So it gets quite annoying. Even if you want to put put this in, it's quite annoying, and it literally loses its whole waterproof charm. And then you know, if toothpaste gets in it, you know, it has fluoride, it has all that, all the stuff, baking soda. It's gonna not be so good for this so once you open it to this state if you want to feel risky go ahead for me though it's 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 done it's not worth the effort to solder it back on just just to use it I'm very disappointed in, in Oral B and Braun for creating a product like this that only lasts you know two two years doing some change I read some reviews about other people's toothbrushes not working around two years also so is that it's not the battery the battery is actually it's actually overcharged somewhere along here something that's controlling controlling the charge is not it's not exactly working properly it is most unfortunate let me get a voltimeter and actually test it out for you so you guys can see all right
Try to do it with one hand. As you can see, it's right now it's 1.9. That's because I'm actually touching the connections too. Before it was reading 2.1, 2.11. So as you can see, it's slowly losing charge as I keep testing it. But for battery, that's 1.2 to go to 1.9 or to go to 2.1. Something seriously is wrong. Alright guys, stay safe and if you want to mod this, just send me a video response to let me know how you, you, you modded it. For me, this is going to the recycling bin, this is going to the rubbish bin. Subscribe and rate guys, appreciate it.